So this thing just showed up. Tires I was showing you earlier, we're gonna go on this. This is the biggest air cart in the world right now at 1500 bushels. So before we get the tires on it, I guess I can show you a little bit about it. Big, big tanks, right? All on load cells, all steel, so no plastic. So same type of metering design, right? You got, it's like eight section control again. Wow, that's big, 1,500. Oh, look at that. This one's got 95 bushel capacity in the front here. You know, if I wanna dump mini bulks of canola or inoculants in that front. It's like pretty heavy duty ladder on this thing. Conveyor is not even painted yet. I think it's a Soaring Eagle conveyor, but look at the size, the diameter of that conveyor tube. That's crazy. It's just massive. Never seen anything like this. It's a big, big unit. He's loading those 1250s on it right now. We're gonna snug them down. The boys are getting some tires installed on her now. It's like two more back duels to go. Those 1250s on the front look pretty cool. It's like the boys are getting the last duel on here. I gotta go move this other sprayer now. That is one large cart. First of all, the sliding lids, I don't think we need to argue about this. Is it clear? Because this, everybody else is here, <coughs> except John. You're going to sell some bushels. Yeah? You're going to sell some thousand bushels? That's, this is going to YouTube now. So you're, <laughs> you're selling them now, Ivan. Your YouTube doesn't make any sense. Let's just catch and take this super to show you an air cart. <laughs> well, people want to see it. I want to see this. I'd watch this video. and take the, the super bees and we'll take the okay. tritums. Take the, we'll take the tritums. You need a full bee train to fill this. Crazy. Air cedar cart that can be paired with our ho top air drills. The front tank that you see up front, which will be primarily used for small seeds like canola, mustard, and crops like that, is at 95 bushels. The tank that you see is tank number two, is 695 bushels of carrying capacity. The third tank is at 300, and the rear tank is at 460. This thing is a beast. Each one of these tanks has its own individual scale system where we would have readouts in the cab. The metering system underneath the bottom, again, it's very similar to what we had on the Avatar that we showed you earlier. We've got carts that have got bag hangers and monstrous, you know, big conveyors on there. But this conveyor comes to us from a, a really neat manufacturer out of, uh, out of Manitoba, where with this conveyor and the overall simplicity of it, it's all stainless steel. All 16 gauge, so it's a very light, tight conveyor, but very structurally uh, in tune because of the way the structure is put together. You notice one thing about it is, even with the length that it is, there's no cable up top like you'll normally see with different conveyors. So the company that actually builds this will build up to a 102 foot conveyor without the cables up top. 
So very, very structurally in integrity in this unit. And the way that the belt in here is designed, it's got very smooth transitions all, uh, up front there and also here. The way this ladder is designed, when you're turning, right, this just pops straight into here, pushes it over, won't come close enough to ever hit the tire. So, safe on the ladder design, won't ever break it. Just a spring underneath there. The canola tank right here, you're carrying in bags. You dump your canola bags right in here. So the capacity for your canola or inoculant tank we got 95 bushels. So your big conveyor will also reach to the top of your canola tank right here. So your biggest tank here in the front and the two back tanks. works it's just an over center design right here one handle and the lid just slides back and forth and then seals for the airtight uh, lots of room up here though right we have your railing along the side but nothing in front in between the uh for the conveyor to hit right so lots of room up here on top see our meters down there in the bottom 